To protect against gun violence, experts are testing the limits of just what bulletproof really means. Serena Altschul has been watching them at work. This may look like your average everyday auto shop, except for one thing, quality control. Trent Kimball is the very confident and brave founder and CEO of Texas Armoring Corporation, a San Antonio-based company that turns ordinary cars into rolling fortresses. These aren't bank trucks that we're talking about. These are passenger vehicles that can stop any type of rifle round or handgun, even up to uh, hand grenades, IEDs, those type of uh, explosives. We'll take but on the project that most companies don't call do. these vehicles bulletproof. You can make something 100% bulletproof? No, bulletproof does not exist. All our vehicles are bullet resistant. It's not like the movies, the bullets don't bounce off. It actually catches the bullet. The glass will crack, uh, it'll splinter. You just don't want it to penetrate that's, through. That's correct, it's not gonna penetrate. What you'll see is in the next... Tearing week, cars down to their skeletons, Kimball and his crew install custom ballistic steel plates and ballistic glass, and then put it all back together as good as new. Completely armored? The cost to armor a car goes from $40,000 on up, and Kimball says business is good and getting better. Economic uh, stress on the, on, in the world, the economic downturn, the terrorism, that type of world that we live in nowadays is, is good for business, unfortunately. Going hot here in just a second. Who needs these armored vehicles? So our clientele range from heads of state of foreign countries all the way down to a, a soccer mom here in the U.S. Protection against kidnapping, protection against uh, assault from an angry soccer parent. Outside the U.S., it's mainly protection against kidnapping for ransom. Inside the U.S., they're usually protecting just against the random street crime. When I got hit, when I first got hit, it felt like a ton of bricks. Detective Michael LeVay of the NYPD knows firsthand the value of protection. In 2013, he was shot in his ballistic vest during a routine stop for a minor subway violation. Gentleman gets up, he starts walking towards the train car door. Uh, I see him reach into his waistband, like a jerk motion with his hand, pulls out a gun. First round goes off, it strikes me in my vest. And you were hit where exactly? I got hit pretty much dead center of the vest. And thankfully it stopped it. Uh, I believe it pierced the vest a little bit, but enough that all I had was pretty much a giant bruise. The first commercially available bullet resistant vest was invented in 1893 by a Chicago Catholic priest named Casimir Zeglin, who proved his garment worked by having himself shot in front of an audience. Soon, high-profile people around the world bought the silk and steel vest, including the Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. But Ferdinand reportedly forgot to wear his vest on June 28, 1914, when an assassin shot and killed him, igniting World War I. Recent experiments proved Zeglin's invention could have stopped that fateful shot. Fortunately for Detective LeVay, he didn't forget to put his vest on. I'm here because the vest saved my life, and I try to be the guy to talk to some of the younger officers and just, listen, take, take care of yourself. You could get into a dangerous situation. Watch yourself. Watch your partner's back and be careful out there.